Uh, welcome, everybody, to uh, our fourth lesson in the atomic unit. Uh, last time we talked about subatomic particles and uh, atomic quantities. Now we're moving on to isotopes. Uh, first, a definition. Let me just write that out for you. Uh, one way that we can define isotopes is that uh, we have atoms um, that have the same atomic number, uh, but they have different mass numbers. Well, obviously, if you are the same atomic number, you must be the same element. But it was appreciated a little over, a little over 100 years ago by people like Frederick Soddy that although you have the same atoms of the same element, they could have different masses. Uh, we now, um, well, another way we can ex express the same idea is in terms of the subatomic numbers. Why can you have the same atomic number but different mass numbers? Well, if you have the same atomic number, you're going to have the same number of protons. But then how do we explain this, different mass numbers? Well, maybe we should first look at an example of an element and its assorted isotopes. Uh, hydrogen happens to have three very famous isotopes, uh, hydrogen 1, 2, and 3. Of course, recall that when I say hydrogen 1, 2, and 3, I'm, not, I'm saying that hydrogen is of a certain mass. Hydrogen 1 has a mass of 1. Hydrogen 2 has a mass number of 2. Hydrogen 3 has a mass number of 3. By the way, these happen to be two naturally occurring. Uh, this is the one that would be generated, for example, in a laboratory. It's called tritium, by the way, very famous uh, in nuclear chemistry. Uh, these also have names. Uh, maybe I'll tell you them later on. Uh, the atomic number will be the same among all of them. Hydrogen is an atomic number of 1, of 1, and of 1. So we recall that the mass number is equal to the sum of the number of protons and the number of neutrons. So if I have an atomic number of 1, well, in each case, I have 1 proton, 1 proton, 1 proton. Well, if the mass number is 3, let's say, that must mean that I have two neutrons here. If the mass number is 2, 2 equals 1 plus 1. Ah, I think I see what's going on here now. A mass number of 1 equals 1 proton, and oh, interesting, you can have an atom with no neutrons. But this answers our question. Take a look. If I have the same number of protons, and I have different numbers of mass numbers, the only explanation is, is that it is because there are different numbers of neutrons. So if the question asks you, in terms of subatomic particles, what makes atoms um, isotopes of an element? It is because there are the same number of protons, as we said, but a different number of neutrons. And there you have it. Recall if the question asks you to put things in terms of subatomic particles, you must mention the relevant subatomic particles, protons and neutrons, or you risk not getting credit. We also have a term called nuclides. Uh, nuclides are similar to that isotopic notation. Uh, there, these are examples down here of nuclides. That's a nuclide, and that's a nuclide. Um, notice nuclides only give you two pieces of information. The two pieces of information that communicate information about the nucleus. So, Nuclides give nuclear information, or give information about the nucleus. Now, there are two pieces of information that we primarily are concerned about with the nucleus. The top number, as we know, is the mass number. And the bottom number is going to be the atomic number. So if I ask which two of these would represent different isotopes of the same element, which would you think they are? The first and the third ones. Why? Well, if you notice, they have the same atomic number, but different mass numbers. Notice in this case, it's totally appropriate to explain it in terms of atomic and mass numbers, because that's the information, that's the evidence you're given in the question. But again, if they ask explicitly for subatomic particles, give them what they ask for. 
A final question I can ask is, what are the names of these two isotopes? Well, they're both atomic number 20, so they're both calcium. But they're not identical, are they? They have different mass numbers. So I need to incorporate the mass numbers into the name by adding a hyphen and the mass number. So the first isotope is called calcium-42, and the second isotope is called calcium-40. I can also ask questions about, for example, how many neutrons are in each one of these? You can approach that with man, mass, minus atomic number tells you the number of neutrons, mass, minus atomic number tells you the number of neutrons. So in the case of calcium-42, 42, 42 minus 20 is 22 neutrons. In the case of the second, 40 minus 20 is 20 neutrons. Well, thank you. That is the end of our fourth lesson. Our next lesson should be calculating the weighted average. That will be lesson five. See you soon.